actually read up on a study like a couple months ago about uh, they said uh, by year 2050 we should have like uh, like they're 3D printing organs like they're trying to figure out how to make us live forever yeah, and they they That's done crazy. that I think they done I, yeah. have to, I have to look this up I think they done a heart <laughs> transplants with with yeah. a 3D printer. I think that that was a real thing. Yeah, they were like, by 2050, we might even be able to upload our brains to the cloud. That was the joke I was making earlier, because that's what they said. And I was like, man, if I can just make it 2050. This conversation <laughs> is like the most 3 a.m. thoughts I've ever heard of. Yeah. <laughs> ever. Ever. But it's the real deal. I love having these conversations. That's why I'm so happy that y'all are up here today. Okay, yes, here it is. The 3D bioprinted heart provides new tools for surgeons. Surgeons will soon have a powerful new tool for planning and practice with the creation of the first full-size 3D printed bioprinted model of the human heart. Wow. Amazing. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. Oh, they have a video, too, that I'm going to watch later. <laughs> I'll definitely be going and looking through uh, some of this stuff later. Would y'all want it? Would y'all want to live forever if they started doing this type of stuff? Well, it depends, because like you know that question's very interesting when I get asked that because it's like, well, am I the only one that lives forever, or does everybody that I know and love around me live forever oh, with me? See, good that's to think the real about question. It like that. See, if it's only me, no, absolutely not. Yeah, because I, I don't want to see everybody around me just fall over and die and be like. Uh-huh. You know, I don't know. I, I want. I'd be so I, depressing. That, that's go, it's going to be, be so depressing, depressing. Obviously, like, your entire like after that, you would have nothing. You would have no one because everybody would just keep dying around you. So, wouldn't you want everyone around you to be able to live forever with you? Unless you're a person like just hated people, hated your exactly. family, hated your friends. You, if you didn't care about anybody, anybody but yourself, it would work that out would for be you. Perfect. Exactly, it'd be perfect for you. But like personally, unless everyone was with me, no, yeah. I would not want to. It, I'm still scared of dying, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, too. Yeah, it's... Who knows? Like, they may, if we don't blow ourselves up before it happens, they may actually figure it out. You may, like, you may It may just be very expensive, like, but if they can just, like, keep changing out organs, keep changing out blood... I don't think I'm going to be here when that happens. So. But you also have to take you into account know. aging and what that would do to, like, your body and your skin... But what if they somehow figure out, like, ex- whatever? I wonder what makes you age. Is it something that has to do with your brain? Is it just the cells in no, your body? That's a good point. Yeah, that's what a great question. What makes you age? I have no I'm idea. To be honest, I have no idea. Um. <laughs> and it's so crazy. Like, we're living life, but we have no idea how yeah. it works. We have no idea, you know, what causes us to die, what's after, you know. But yeah, that's crazy. the only thing that would keep me wanting to stay alive. Eat, like... I would be the most depressed person on the planet because everybody would be dead around me, and I'd be like, well, there's nothing now. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. Like, you really got to think of it like that because some people's, like, in a heartbeat, they're like, yes, I want to live forever, and I'm like, okay, so do you hate everyone around you? Well, because, I mean, like, I, don't, I don't even like, think it's about that. I think that's just the appropriate, like, that would be your first instinct. Yeah, I want to live forever. I want to be alive because a human's instinct is to be alive. <laughs> like, if you're in a deadly situation, you're like, terrified you're like i want to live i want to live i want to live so if you say do you want to live forever i think the first thing you would think is well yeah i want to be alive it would be nice but like you know but then you start but then you start thinking about it and you're like well if everyone around me is dying and there's just nobody left you know and what would be the point yeah true i feel like it's it's, these thoughts it's it's a loaded question thoughts (laughs) I mean, you, but you might would have like great, 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 great grandchildren to keep you company. Well, that's what you're saying. Like, if you, if your family keeps going on and on, I mean, I feel like you would, you would grow heartless because like they would just keep dying, and you'd just be like, well, moving on to the next. This kind of reminds me of Skips from regular show. You know, it makes because he lives forever. It's really sad. But um, I can imagine how much of a like, like a boomer you would become. Yeah. Like, like I'm already like tired of some of the stuff that's popular nowadays. Imagine like 300 years in the future. There would just be a different word for that. <laughs> Definitely. Super boomer. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> there would just be a whole different category for that. <laughs> Who knows what they're going to figure out. Uh, Alex downstairs. Shout out to Alex. He said that a teacher <laughs> described to him in high school one time that we are like a decaying fruit after 25. Are you for real? Uh, no, that's th- that's true. A, that's a great teacher to have there. That's that's really 
That's terrifying. It's terrifying, <laughs> but that is actually true. The aging process does usually start around that age. For real? Mm-hmm. Wow. And I'm three years away from it. <laughs> I'm 25. Oh, no. <laughs> like, oh, oh, no. Uh, it's not good to learn today. I'm the king. I feel like the, the witch in the, the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> what type of teacher did you have, Alex? Wow. But I'm, I guess that makes sense. I feel, How like, do they I feel know? like that teacher was a science teacher. That, but, 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 <laughs> but. What about Tom Cruise? Exactly. What about Jennifer Aniston? Jennifer Aniston. Pharrell, exactly. Pharrell Williams. They don't age. Explain Amen. that, Mr. Mr. Teacher. I don't know exactly. who that teacher was. There's no was. explanation for it. Well, genetics and money. <laughs> Scientology. <laughs> who, who, biology teacher. Okay, that, that makes sense. If, if you heard that it. from it a math a teacher, teacher, I'd have some questions. I know it. it. I said it was a science teacher. Yeah, well, so, I mean, and, and maybe they're, they're, they're onto something. Yes, yeah. I would have believed it was this history teacher too. I don't know like <laughs> anybody that's poor that looks like Tom Cruise at his age. <laughs> so it definitely has to be some money involved there. Uh, genetics can only like get you so far. They're half robot. They, we just don't know it. <laughs> Elon Musk said we're technically becoming cyborgs right now with our cell phones because, like, if you think about it. It's on you all the time. It's always somewhere near you or in your pocket. Yeah, and if or you can't whatever. find it, you feel like a piece of you is gone. <laughs> yes. So like we're already kind of like, you know, like that's the first step. That's our that's us dipping our toes in the water. Well, it ain't just cyborgs. that. I mean, even like some people, you know, like pacemakers and stuff. Like yeah, you know, I mean, robotic limbs. Yeah. Man, yeah. I mean, even if, even, and like, even, if, even if you are a cyborg, that doesn't make you less of a human, obviously. I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, uh, when you're... Well, what makes you human, though? Exactly. Being a human. <laughs> Being a human. That's a good question, though. Like, is it, do you have to have the heart? Do you have to have the brain? What and, and, and well, I guess it's more the brain because the heart can be replaced. I was going to say, I feel like we're literally just our brain. Just we're just in a vessel, a meat vessel. Have, have y'all seen like the, the, the brain vessel. with all the veins that come down yes, to the body? Yeah, stuff? I have. Wow. It's, it's crazy to me. I'm like, that looks a little sus. I'm not gonna lie. It's, we look <laughs> like aliens. I guess it would be the brain that makes you human, but you know they're they're starting that Neuralink thing. Mm-hmm. So the brain is going to be changing in the future. Are we going to be humans anymore? Is it going to be like a new subspecies of humans? I think we're all just humans? going to become <laughs> computer people because, computer like people? I said, <laughs> well, like I said, they said that they could uh, by twenty fifty we should be able to upload our brain to the cloud and live in the virtual world. And I was like, that's terrifying. Ah, oh, it's so weird. And people might think that like you don't know what you're talking about, but that is like real stuff that yeah. is going well, I was on just nowadays. Curious about it one night, and I was like, I wonder if there's like anything like that because I watch a lot of anime, and I'm like, man, I want to just be that. I want to live like that, and you know, it, just because like we're not smart enough to understand exactly how they're going to do that doesn't mean that there's somebody that is smart enough out there that is impossible. working yeah. on it. Yeah. Because apparently with that Neuralink thing, I don't know how this is going to work, but apparently you can like read each other's thoughts. What's that called? Tele- uh, telepathic. Yeah. It, it'll make you telepathic. If like if I have the Neuralink and y'all have the Neuralink, we can be doing a podcast without talking. Exactly. Oh my God, that is terrifying. But. At the same time, that's kind of cool. Like, if I, I, I'm not going to lie, if I could draw what I see in my head versus what I actually draw, I. It may become a thing, though. It would be. Well, like, ooh. wouldn't that just, like, throw away any kind of, like, art Work talent ethic? <laughs> ever? Because everybody could just draw then. You could just take a Picasso and then just lay yeah. it right out in front of you. Like We're all going to be superhumans. Exactly. It, it would definitely crazy. make animating and comics a lot a lot faster. It may even make <laughs> songwriting better, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean... If, Be- because I think that, like, it connects to certain parts of the brain, from yeah. what from what I've read. Like, like paraplegics will be able to walk it again. Is, People with Alzheimer's will yeah. be able to remember. It's going to be crazy. But th- I know that there is a part of the brain... It would hit the, the creative brain. side. Yeah, the is, it, cre- is it the left side or the right side? The creative side. I, there's like a certain portion of your brain that, yeah. that has to do with creativity. Cre- yeah. And if they can connect the wires to that... I mean, just imagine what type of song self. you can write. Yeah, you'd be your most creative self ever, and you could just write every song in the world. I'm actually what? excited for that. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. And like this, it sounds like a science fiction movie that we're talking about, but yeah. this is real, actual life. 
Yeah, I believe that, like, just because you can't think, like, you can't understand comprehend something. It. If you can't comprehend something, then it's not possible. It's impossible to do. But it does, it, that's not true. Like, it doesn't make it impossible, even if you can't comprehend it. <sighs> but beyond our comprehension, there's definitely things out there. It's weird. Mm-hmm. Like, like how they can, uh, with, with babies now, somehow, I don't know how they do this, but they can, like, tell what type of health problems the baby will develop later on in yeah. life. Like, they can see if they're more subjective to, uh, you know, certain type of cancers mm-hmm. or Alzheimer's or, you know, whatever. They can yeah. tell, like, when it's a baby what will happen to it later on in life. Well, I'm just glad that we're growing positively yeah. instead of um, regressing and yeah. um, <laughs> going backwards. So as, as long as we don't have no Terminator type stuff going on, yeah. I think, I think we're like, okay. As long as the apes don't take <clears throat> over the world, robots don't become sentient, we're good. Hopefully, the aliens come down and and we and like, and like that'll just kind of like even out everything somehow. Yeah. H- humble us a little bit. Yes, that's the yes. type. That, that's what I'm looking for. Humble us a little bit. Exactly. <laughs> Who knows? Like like 2022, that is such a futuristic number to yep. me. I think that this year is also the year that George Jetson was born. I seen that on the internet. Wait, what? From the Jetsons? Yeah. Uh, I think. Oh, he was born in 2022. Is that what you're saying? No. Yeah, I think so. What? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, July 31st, 2022. So it's going to be some Simpsons stuff oh, man. going on here. It's like they're going to start predicting stuff after he was born and stuff. Oh, I'm telling you, that's man. what's going to start happening. It's crazy because uh, <laughs> Detroit uh, Become Human actually takes place in 2038. So. <laughs> Who? I, I think that they know something we don't. Exactly. Like, there's definitely some things out there that some people know about, and there's some things out there that some people don't know about. <laughs> what, what if... Certain government organizations. We are getting deep on this podcast. Yeah, like, yeah. 